And that's the messaging that I hope the Yoga Sloth will convey to our audience. Great, it sounds like we have a clear direction. Now let's talk about your budget for this project. Oh yes, that. We were hoping you'd actually be willing to do this work for exposure. You know, get your name out there. Ugh, not again. Don't they know that I have rent to pay? A family to feed? What's my wife gonna say when I tell her I have to walk away from another project? Could you excuse me for a second? Hello, honey? Yes, hello, Michael? Yeah, I'm afraid I have some... Yes? Hello? Hello? Uh, never mind, baby. I gotta go. I love you. <clears throat> hello? Yeah, I saw your flyer, and I think I have a project that you might like. Hello? Guten Tag, Michael. I'm Hans. Oh, hi. Um, so I'm with this client who's asking me to work for exposure. Thank you for the referral. I'll take it from here. Here's the number to a client who will pay you for your services. Auf Wiedersehen. Okay, bye. Guten Tag, client. I'm Hans. I'll be your designer. Huh? Oh. Hans, it's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> client, I'm happy to present you with your new logo. This looks great. Uh, if we just remove the thought bubble. Okay, which email should I send the invoice to? Invoice? I thought you were doing this for exposure. Yes, the thought bubble portion is my exposure. If we remove it, I will have to bill you at the time at which it will be taking me at my normal rate. Very well. And who should I make the checkout to? Just Hans. Okay, I admit this story is a bit over-dramatized. Hopefully most of our exposure stories don't include a client with evil intentions. But let's question that viewpoint for a second and step into our client's shoes. Maybe if we viewed them as thrifty shoppers just looking for the best deal, it would become clear that they really are just preserving their own self-interest. Which is why it makes sense for you as a creative professional to do the exact same thing. When you are asked to trade work for exposure, consider what's in your best interest. Interest. Here's a great question to help us decide how to respond to the exposure request. Is the value of the exposure you're getting equal to or more valuable than getting paid? If you answered yes, then maybe it is worth it. Here's just a few situations where accepting a project for exposure might actually be a benefit to you. Will this project be a good fit for your portfolio? Does this project interest you or pique your curiosity? Will it help you sharpen your skills in an area of weakness? Does the project serve a charitable cause that you support and are excited to get behind? If none of these situations apply, or if there's some other reason why this project just does not resonate with you, don't feel bad to walk away. All in all, only you can determine whether or not trading your skills for exposure is a fair trade. But if you do decide to do the work, here's a tip for you. Make sure the terms of the deal are clearly laid out. What specific exposure are you gonna get? Referrals, a letter of recommendation, credit, what kind of credit? How much and how often? The more specific the terms, the better for both of you. So, what about you? Do you have a story where a client offered you exposure instead of payment? Tell me about it in the comments. Also, please consider buying this playfully sarcastic t-shirt for yourself or as a gift for your most charitable or gullible graphic artist. You can find the link for that in the description. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button below. And if you hit that subscribe button, welcome my friend to the tribe. And I'll close this video with a reminder for you and all the other daydreamers to question everything and stop at nothing. Toodles.